Okay, to be mindful of time, I know that some folks will be filtering in here um, over the next minute or so, but everything I'm saying, I'm going to throw into the chat as well. Uh, welcome to the virtual college fair. Uh, this is We are so happy to have you, and it's so important that you're able to be here to hear from these amazing experts, uh, these uh, representatives that are going to be here to talk about their institution and to give you a better insight uh, to their institution and um, how to transfer. Uh, so a few things for folks out there watching this, your camera and microphone are off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. So if you have a question during this 45 minute session, please use that Q&A button that's either at the top or bottom of your screen. That Q&A button uh, gives you the uh, ability to ask a question to any of our panelists and they'll be able to answer that during the 45 minute session. Uh, there are more sessions in the future. You can uh, check the schedule on the website and a recording of this along with all the other presentations will be available at strivescan.com forward slash Carolinas. And I'll make sure I throw that into the chat as well. All right, to be mindful of time, we are going to kick it off to Trident Technical College. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Christie and welcome everyone. My name is Alan Barbosa, and I am a high school recruiter from Trident Technical College. So let me share my PowerPoint that I prepared for you guys so you can learn a little bit about Trident. So uh, one of the things that I wanna say first, of course, is that Trident is a public two-year multi-campus community college located in the beautiful city of Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, uh, I want to show you some of the top reasons why students come to Trident Tech. Um, of course, we have over 150 programs to study, and to make it easy to the students, uh, we narrow that into 10 areas of interest. Uh, the first um, top reason here that I like the best is the free tuition that we got going on right now. So I figure some of you probably uh, saw, heard something about this free tuition at Trident Tech. I just want to mention it just in case. But in order to take advantage of this opportunity, you need to already have a budget, um, a, budget and a, um, a high school diploma or a GED. Okay, so you need to apply to the college, be admitted, uh, pick one of these 70 plus programs to study, do your FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, and register for at least uh, a minimum of six credit hours, and you will be able to take advantage of this. Now, we don't know if this is gonna continue after the next, year in other words it's going to be free the rest of the fall spring and summer but we don't know if it's going to continue for the next academic year i just want to put that up there now when it comes to transferring programs to study trident has agreements with the citadel clemson university of south carolina and hopefully pretty soon with the college of charleston because they have a new engineering program i'm pretty sure you will hear about that in a minute but pretty much pretty much how it works is that the students will come to Trident Tech, do two years with us, and then transfer to those institutions and finish their um, bachelor's degree in engineering. Some of these other programs, definitely uh, we can help you with some of the classes to transfer to a full year university, but uh, there are other two uh, programs uh, for university transfer that actually are the ones that we recommend the students to go into. Uh, and those are the Associate in Science and the Associate in Arts. Now, if you are going into a field like English, political science, psychology, just mention a few, you need to pick an associate in arts at Trident Technical College. Now, this program is structured in such a way that pretty much is gonna transfer all the classes to a um, uh, four-year university. Now, the other one is the associate in science. And really the, the difference in this is that the associate in science requires approximately six to seven math and science courses, while the associate in arts degree only requires three courses. So that is practically the difference, but these two programs to study, other than the engineering, pretty much will help you transfer to a four-year university. Now, uh, something happens every summer at Trident, a lot of the uh, four-year students, you know, four-year university students will like to come to Trident, take a couple of classes and then transfer back to their home institutions. And now I'm referring to visiting transient students. So yes, you can come to Trident Tech as a visiting student and take some classes in the summer and then transfer these back to your home institution. Now to learn more about this, my suggestion is just click in the search box in our homepage 
and just put the words visiting slash uh, transient and it's going to take you to this page that you see now and you will be able to learn the steps that you need and things of that nature. Now, when it comes to um, student resources, like any other institution, we have quite a few of those as well. Uh, the one that I would recommend for uh, students seeking transferring to a four-year university is to get familiar with the Student Resource Center, which is in Building 500 in our Thornley campus. There you will be able to meet with some other reps, either virtually, pretty much virtually right now because of, of the pandemic, but usually in this center, uh, the uh, reps from other four-year universities will be there and meet with the students to help them in the transition. Now, when it comes to any other student that would like to apply to Trident, I just wanna mention that our application is free. We are currently um, test optional, meaning if you didn't take the SAT, ACT, or even our admission test that is called Accupacer, the only thing you have to do is show your final high school transcript to the navigator, which is gonna be your initial advisor. After you apply to Trident, within 24 hours, they will assign you this personal navigator that will make sure that you actually brought everything needed to the admissions office and he or she will get you registered in your classes, okay? Now, when it comes to tuition, I just wanna mention this so you have an idea. When you do your FAFSA, I hope you have done it already. If not, do it pretty soon. Uh, if the federal government says that you may way too much money or your family per se makes too much money, the only thing they might offer you is the student loans. So, and Trident Technical College, you will be able to take advantage of the lottery tuition assistance, which covers just about half of the tuition cost. You can see a full-time status for a student is $1,261. Okay, so a couple of upcoming events, the nursing information session, October 26th from 4 to 5.30. And then our virtual open house where we can talk a little bit longer. You learn more about Trident Tech. Uh, this is gonna be November 9th. Thank you so much, guys. If you need to contact us, my contact information is there, as well as my friend and co-worker, Mark Yert, which by the way, he is checking, monitoring the chat box for your questions. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Uh, next up, we have Charleston Southern University. Okay, we are going to skip them for now and head over to Newberry College. trying to display my camera. Okay, so my name is Shakidra Godfrey. I am the Assistant Director of Admissions here at Newberry College. So here are all the great things about Newberry College. Though we are a small private liberal arts college with a, an enrollment of about 1200, and we give you all of the benefits of being at a large institution. You have all of your academic team, all of your athletic teams, um, but we also have uh, 37 majors like a major college. We have a very active campus life where 83% of our students actually live on campus. And then you still get to meet people from 23 countries, 21 states. And we also have a very active um, sorority fraternity life. So again, all of the benefits of a big institution just in that um, small, personal, close touch um, community. Um, it will be yourself and 13 other students typically in a course, um, as we have a 14 to one uh, student to faculty ratio, which allows you to get that, again, personal touch, allows you to ask questions and help you to navigate through your undergraduate degree. We also have some highlights as we are now um, no longer number six as the best value, but number four as the best value in the Southeast. So again, that big institution feel as far as um, affordable tuition um, and education, but um, you get that close personal touch there. 
So for our campus life, we have over 50 clubs and organizations. Um, we have study abroad opportunities, which are not um, expensive. It's actually the same tuition that you will pay for that academic year. Um, so you can be studying in the classroom or you can be studying overseas. You don't have to worry about any additional funds. Um, it is the same tuition. We also offer some IM leagues. Um, those range from anything from flag football, we have soccer, we have basketball. Um, we also have uh, field hockey teams as well. For our Greek life, now, as I mentioned, we have those nine fraternities and sororities on campus, um, which allow you to have uh, those leadership opportunities to build those ever lasting friendships uh, with that close knit community that we offer. Um, you're also allowed to do um, community service. And um, this also helps you academically as you have to um, exceed academically to remain in these functions. So it's also a good touch there. So for our sports, um, we offer actually over, we have 15, over 15 teams on campus. Um, so a lot of different opportunities for men and women, as well as co-ed sports like dance and cheering um, and some club sports as well that allow you to be co-ed. Um, we are division two and we represent the SAC. Um, we also represent the Carolinas. Um, so the Conference Carolinas is something that we have on campus as well. So you're able to do anything from joining the fishing club to playing lacrosse. Um, we have a very active community on campus again. Um, so our football teams are a huge turnout. Everyone's there, everyone's excited and supportive on campus there. So for our campus dining, we have the Kaufman Hall Dining, which is our, our main dining facility on campus. We also have a Chick-fil-A Express. I had that myself for lunch today. Um, Boar's Head is always a good go-to. And then Wolf's Den. Um, so that's kind of like a grab and go where if you're studying, you don't have to worry about getting up and going to the main dining hall, but you have access to um, some nutrition there as you study and prepare for your tests and exams on campus. Okay, so for our student life on campus, um, again, we are very active on campus. We have 83% of our students living on campus, um, which allows us to have a strong campus life um, and community there. Um, we have a number of residence halls, all ranging from luxury apartments, which, what, which is what you would see for Oakland Mill, um, where they have the nice wooden glazed floors, um, just a great site there. Um, it has Pearson's Hall, Walker Hall, and Smeltzer Hall, as well as Kennard Hall, Derrick, and Brokeman Hall. So those are a mix of upperclassmen, um, dormitories there. We have one that's predominantly women and one that's predominantly men, and then the rest are co-eds. Um, Brokeman Hall is our only true freshman hall that we have on campus. It's also the largest residence hall that we have on campus here. Um, so as for financial aid, outside of what the normally what you would normally see, um, which is what our federal and state funds present to you, um, ranging from Hope and Pale and Life. Um, and FAFSA is open right now, by the way. Um, it opened on October 1st. Um, it only takes uh, one parent um, along with yourself to complete. Um, the application is completely online. Um, it's free. And then we have our student code here that you can enter to have your test score sent directly to us. Um, your passport information sent directly to us, excuse me. Um, and then you would complete that using your, your 2020 tax information. Um, and be sure that when you do this, you use your personal email. Um, that way, um, after you accept it, you still have that um, access during that interim period to where students are still learning how to access their campus information. Um, but back to the funds. Um, so Alongside those state and federal funds, um, we are also offering for transfer students some great transfer scholarship opportunities. Um, these, these are based on your GPA. So um, ranging from a 2.0 to a 4.0, you're able to um, get between $7,000 and $15,000. Um, on top of that, we have the South Carolina Tuition Grant. Now for spring 2022, what we're doing um, for our South Carolina Tuition Grant, if you are not within that realm to where you're eligible, Newberry College is giving you $2,200 per semester in addition to the transfer scholarships that we're offering. So great time to join Newberry College um, 
so that you don't have to worry about the financial burden of transferring at this time. Um, we're handling that for you as best we can. For the campus experience, so we are actually offering on-campus tours. Um, they're available Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Um, we also have open house opportunities and our big spotlight events, which are highlighting the top academic programs. You can find all this information and more at newberry.edu slash visit. Um, and also a cute little um, see-through here. Um, you can actually see where Newberry is located. Um, it's a central little space here. So we are kind of in between the mountains and the beach. Um, great centralized location with access to all things around you. So for the admissions requirements, um, for transfers and freshman application is free. Um, the only thing you need to submit um, is your high school or college transcript, depending on which applicant you are. Um, and then also what is a good perk here is that we're test optional. So as long as you complete your free application, get your transcripts sent in, we can get a decision made to you within a week. Here's some little quick access points here where you can um, request information and apply. Um, you can also follow us on social media. And again, I'm just gonna include my um, contact information here in case you guys have any questions. All right, thank you so much. Next up, we have Emory and Henry College. All right, thank you so much for having me today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and pull up my PowerPoint. All right, great. So again, thank you all for uh, having me uh, join you this evening. My name is Amanda Bishop and I'm the Associate Director of Transfer Students here at Emory and Henry College. We are a private liberal arts college in Emory, Virginia, um, pretty much just across the Tennessee state line, just for some context. We were founded in 1836 and we are actually the oldest higher education institution in Southwest Virginia. So here are just some basic facts about us. We have uh, between 13 and 1400 total students, so we are a pretty small campus. There are over uh, 90 academic majors and tracks that we offer for students. 100% um, of our undergraduate students are able, oops, sorry about that. 100% of our undergraduate students are able to earn academic merit scholarships, and I'll discuss those toward the end of this presentation. We have over 85 uh, academic uh, and intramural clubs and student organizations on campus, including some Greek organizations. We have a 15 to one student to faculty ratio and our average class size is 13. And then 92% um, of the class of 2020 were employed or in graduate school within six months of graduation. Um, so I think especially during global pandemic, that's a really great statistic to uh, keep in mind. So here are some uh, of our academic programs. You'll see the undergraduate programs on the left-hand side. Those highlighted in yellow are some of our top 10 programs that we have. Um, we also have some graduate and professional degrees as you'll see listed on the uh, right-hand side. So at our School of Health Sciences in Marion, Virginia, uh, we do have all these programs listed up top. There's a Master of Physician Assistant Studies, a Doctor of Physical Therapy, a Master and a Doctor of Occupational Therapy, uh, a Master of Science in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, and our new School of Nursing. We offer a traditional BSN program that we just started, and we're very excited about that opportunity. And then we also offer a, a RN to BSN program that has some flexibility and some online components as well. Um, so our School of Health Sciences is really fantastic, and it's a great asset to our region. Um, we also have an equestrian program here at Emory and Henry. Uh, we have some equine studies degree options for students, um, as well as a competitive riding team. We've actually won 21 national championships with our equestrian team, so we're very, very proud of the work that they are doing. Uh, Emory and Henry College also offers the only credit-bearing through-hike program in the country. So this is our semester A trail program. Um, students can actually hike the Appalachian Trail for a full semester of college credit. And uh, we actually had four students transfer in for this program during the 2021 cohort. So if you're interested in transferring in to a really unique program, this might be for you. Um, the students that you see on the screen were actually the students who completed that cohort. 
Um, even if you're not interested in completing the entire Appalachian Trail, that's okay. We still have lots of other outdoor activities available for students for you know, all kinds of interest levels, um, even just like short hiking trips, camping trips, um, kayaking, all kinds of really fun activities through our outdoor program and the outdoor adventure team. Um, our Van Vlissingen Center for Career and Professional Development works very closely with our students, first year students, traditional students, and transfer students to make sure that they get great jobs and internships. Um, you can see the list here of where some of our students have recently been employed and recently done internships through. So, of course, some of those are more regional and more local to Emory & Henry, but, um, of course, the United Nations, CNN, some very large companies and organizations on there. So, um, our Van Blissingen Center for Career and Professional Development is certainly helping our students out. Our application process is very simple. Uh, we only require students to complete the application form and it is free. So students can complete the Emory and Henry application or our application on the Common App. Uh, we also only require transcripts from any college or community college that students have attended. Um, we have, again, no application fee. We don't require essays, letters of recommendation or test scores. Um, and so that's always a really great benefit. Usually students can complete an application in 10 to 20 minutes. So it's a very quick process. We also have free transfer evaluations after students are admitted as well. And then in terms of financial aid, uh, it's very quick and very easy for students to receive financial aid. Um, again, 100% of our undergrad students receive academic merit scholarships. And for transfer students, those range between $7,000 and $21,000 per year. Those scholarships are renewable each year that students attend as well. Um, we are committed to making sure that uh, Emory and Henry College is affordable for students. So our tuition has not increased in the past five years. And um, again, you know, I'm definitely going to hammer home filing your FAFSA if you've not done so yet. I definitely encourage you to do so. Um, our FAFSA code is listed here. You can also just look us up by name whenever you're completing the FAFSA too. Um, and again, I just want to kind of leave you with that um, statistic again, 92% of our class of 2020 was employed or in graduate school within six months. Uh, so we definitely, um, uh, we care about our students here at Emory and Henry and we certainly want them to succeed. So here is some of my contact information. This is just uh, general admissions office contact information. I typed my personal information into the chat. So you're welcome to reach out with any questions. Thanks again. All right, thank you. Uh, next up, we have Radford University. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Whitney Pitchkey, and I am the Regional Assistant Director for Admissions for transfer students who are coming from the North and South Carolina area. So I'm super excited to be with you all today to talk about Radford. So just to go ahead and get started, Radford is a mid-size research, comprehensive research university located right in the heart of Southwest Virginia. We are in the heart of the New River Valley in between the Appalachian Mountains and the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, our total enrollment is right around 10,600 students, but that is the total enrollment. Our undergraduate population is closer to about 9,000 students. So it's a little bit of a smaller, um, smaller school than it looks. Um, and we really do give you the best of the big and the best of the small. It's one of my favorite things about Radford. As far as the best of the small, the academic environment is really where Radford starts to feel like a small college. So you have a small student to faculty ratio, small class sizes, and you actually are working directly with faculty, which you sometimes don't see at um, some of the larger research universities. So we're very proud of the fact that students really are working directly with their faculty and their professors. And um, our students are working through uh, programs uh, that you see listed down uh, the left hand side of the page there. Those are all of our different academic colleges within Radford University and students really do a little bit of everything. This next slide here shows you a little bit more about our academic programs. This is everything that you can major in, minor in, as well as get a teacher licensure in. If you have ever heard of Radford before, you've probably heard about us um, for our School of Nursing and our School of Education. Those are some of our, uh, two of our biggest majors on campus. We actually were founded as a college for teachers back in 1910. So education is a huge program for us, as is nursing. So those are two of our uh, big programs. But of course, as you can see, there is everything from um, accounting to theater and everything in between. Um, 
Um, I could definitely spend an entire session just on our academics, but uh, obviously we don't have the time for that. But if you would like to get more information about our academic programs, feel free to scan the um, QR code at the bottom of the screen and that'll take you to our webpage where you can learn a little bit more about our academics, as well as what students do after they graduate from each different major. So a little bit about campus life. Um, students are just as involved outside of the classroom as they are in the classroom. So we really make sure that there is a little bit of something for everyone. As you can see, there are 16 division one athletic teams in the uh, Big South Conference. We have over 300 uh, student organizations, everything from Greek life to club and intramural sports to student religious organizations, volunteer and service organizations, the knitting club, you name it, there is something for everyone. And it's also very easy to start a club at Radford if there is something that you want, but we don't currently offer. We also have a very strong living learning community. So um, our residential residential life is uh, very strong, very comprehensive. We do have several living learning communities, um, including an honors college. Like to live on campus with other transfer students, a fantastic opportunity for you. So a little bit about financial aid and cost. So for um, our out-of-state students, your total cost, as you can see there, is uh, just over $33,000 for the year. That's tuition fees, room, and your meal plan. So basically everything but your parking pass and your books. Um, but as you can also see, about 82% of students receive some form of financial aid, whether that is a um, uh, their FAFSA, whether that is um, a uh, scholarship that we offer or a foundation scholarship that you can apply for. We definitely have several opportunities for you to help fund your education. For transfer students, we do have the Phi Theta Kappa scholarship. So if any of you are in Phi Theta Kappa at your current college, then we do accept that and we'll give you a scholarship for uh, Phi Theta Kappa. We also have a transfer excellence scholarship and both of those are renewable for your next year at Radford as well. Um, definitely, as you've heard before from several of, of my other colleagues on this uh, meeting, there are uh, the FAFSA uh, opened October 1st. So if you have not gotten that in, definitely make sure that you get that in because it's a great way to make sure that you have all um, of your bases covered when you are being reviewed for any type of need-based financial aid. And lastly, I'll talk a little bit about the application process. So Radford is on the common application. You can use that. You also can use the Radford specific application, which is available in our web, on our website. It is a holistic application review process. So we are looking at everything. We are looking at the academic um, aspects of your application and the academic qualities that you bring to the table, as well as the personal qualities that you bring to the table. And with our transfer students, this is where we tend to see some really um, amazing stories. So we really do want to know what you do outside of your classroom experience. What uh, what are you doing in your in your spare time? The young man that you see on the screen here is actually a veteran and uh, had um, several years after he uh, left the military, had several years of work experience and then came to Radford. So these are the stories that we really love to hear about and the things that we really enjoy because this is the way that we really get to know you and how we get to get a sense of what you're going to do when you get onto our campus. So when you're applying, regardless of which application you use, share with us who you are, what your story is, because it really does uh, make a big difference for us. Um, we, of course, need your official college transcripts from each school that you've attended. We only need a high school transcript if you have less than 24, cre less than 24 credit hours or if you have not had a uh, college level math. Um, and we do accept students for both the spring and the fall terms. And uh, we are also rolling admissions. So from the time that we get all of your materials, we can usually get a decision turned around in a couple of weeks. So uh, thank you so much for being uh, with us tonight. And I will go ahead and stop sharing my screen and um, I'll put my information in the chat. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Uh, next up we have College of Charleston. Hello, everybody. I am going to share my screen, get this presentation up. Hopefully, everyone is having a great Monday. Okay, so my name is Kaylin Bachnight. Don't know why that's not working. We'll keep it. So my name is Kaylin Bachnett. I'm the transfer admissions counselor here at the College of Charleston. I'm going to be quickly going over a few topics that I see a lot of our transfer students ask about. College of Charleston was founded in 1770. So just a quick fun fact, we are older than the Constitution. We just celebrated our 250th anniversary 
about a year or two ago. So that was really exciting. We are a public liberal arts and science college. We are right in the heart of historic downtown Charleston, about a street away from King Street. So always something to do. We are a teaching institution, which means our courses are taught by professors, not teaching assistants. Um, we also have a 14 to one faculty ratio. So your classes aren't going to be very big. We have about 10,000 students on campus. So making sure our students receive that individual attention is very um, important to us. We have over 140 different majors and minors for our students to choose from and over 240 student clubs and organizations. So again, always something to do. You can start your own club if you're interested in something that might not already be available. And then we are a division one athletic college in the Colonial Athletic Association. We have 18 varsity sports. So you can go cheer on your fellow Cougars and your classmates. One really interesting thing I wanted to touch on with the College of Charleston is we have a transfer resource center. We opened that in 2018 and it's a resource for all things transfer. So we do assist our current students with, if they would like to take the course elsewhere, we'll help them make sure that transfer backs back correctly. We wanna make sure that their time and money that is spent elsewhere is also going to help them earn their degree here at CFC. We also assist our prospective and admitted students if you are a prospective student and have questions about course transferability, definitely contact our Transfer Resource Center. We can set you up with a pre-transfer advising appointment, which I will talk about in a little bit, but that's a really important resource that we have. We also have a transfer mentor program that pairs students coming into the college in their first semester with successful transfer students. Again, that's just to help with their transfer, if they have questions about anything on campus, student life, you name it, just great to connect with another student who has been in your shoes. And then we are home of the Alpha Road chapter of Tau Sigma, which is an honor society. So really quickly, our transfer credit maximum, 90 total credits can be transferred into the College of Charleston with 66 coming from a two-year institution. Um, we are Military friendly as well, um, a maximum of 30 credits can come from a student's joint service transcript. How and where can those credits transfer? Previous college, credit by exam, international and military. Um, we do have certain requirements for those to be eligible for evaluation. Um, that link also on our Transfer Resource Center website will tell you more about our transfer credit. So again, if you have questions about how your courses are going to transfer, which a lot of students do, it's a very important question. Um, we have a transfer equivalency database, which is basically historic data of how previous students have brought transfer credit in. If you don't see your course on there, it doesn't mean it's not gonna transfer. It just means that we need the syllabus to get that evaluated by our faculty. Transferology is a similar resource. Um, same thing, just a different format. Also, we have, 86 courses that transfer from South Carolina schools. And then again, that pre-transfer advising is going to be a really important and awesome resource that we have here at the College of Charleston. So you can contact our Transfer Resource Center. That email's at the bottom, transfercenter at cfc.edu to request a pre-transfer advising appointment. You don't need to apply or be admitted to take advantage of this resource. Basically, you'll just need to submit an unofficial transcript from any institution that you previously attended and our pre-transfer advisor will work with you on how those will transfer, what it looks like if you were to attend CFC. If you have a major in mind, she can also give you an estimated timeline to degree completion. So again, you don't need to apply or be accepted to take advantage of that. Really quickly, I'm gonna go over the application and some of our important dates coming up. Um, the application is, is online. We don't have a common app for our transfer students. You can either attach or email the required materials to your application. We do accept unofficial college level transcripts for admissions purposes. If you are accepted, that's when you'll need to submit the official college transcript for transfer credit purposes. And then we do have an optional personal statement in College of Charleston essay. We do like to learn a little bit about our students. So that's a great way to do it. Again, those are optional, um, not required, but definitely recommended. Our requirements are a 2.6 GPA in all college level work. If you have 12 or more hours after high school graduation, so not including any dual enrollment, you will be required to submit any transcript from 
a, an institution that you previously attended. Again, those can be unofficial for admissions purposes. And then if you're accepted, we'll need the official transcripts. Let's say you're in your first semester somewhere else and you're looking to transfer, we'll say in the spring semester, you don't have 12 hours yet. You will be required to submit a final official high school transcript unofficial college level transcript for any institution previously attended, and then a midterm grade report that can confuse some students, but it is fairly simple. Um, if you have access to an online grading portal, you can just snap a quick screenshot around the midway point of the semester. Just wanna see how you're doing. Um, and we can use those grades to make an admissions decision. Our upcoming important dates, our spring 2022 application is open. That is going to be closing in the next couple of weeks with a November 1 deadline. And then we do start classes a little bit earlier than some institutions. So our first day of class for the spring 2022 semester is January 10th. And that is my contact information, our transfer admissions and our transfer resource center. I will also put my contact information in the chat. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, thank you. Um, if I could have everyone that presented turn their camera back on, uh, we are going to go in the same order that you presented. And if you could answer uh, for the audience, what advice would you give someone going through the transfer process, starting with Trident Technical? Okay, I'm gonna jump in here. Alan and I are tag teaming. He had the presentation, I'm doing the Q and A. Um, as far as it goes, I want to talk about two different things with Trident Tech. We get students who come to Trident Tech um, and they know exactly what college or university they plan to attend. We also get many, many, many students who attend Trident. They are planning to get their first two years in gen ed classes at Trident and transfer, but they don't have a clue where they want to go. Advice to those who know what college or university they plan to attend. Alan mentioned that within 24 hours, they'll be assigned a navigator. Make sure you notify your navigator of what college you plan to attend because the navigators assign advisors and you will receive an advisor if your college is in, is in uh, South Carolina. You'll receive an advisor who is familiar with that college and that procedure, the transfer procedure for that college. They can also assist with other colleges outside of South Carolina, but um, they have a special knowledge of certain identified colleges. For those students who attend Trident with no idea where they want to go afterward, um, research, research, research. Try to identify a college as soon as possible um, and not just online research, but go to those colleges, take tours, um, go to special weekend functions that they have, take advantage of all that they have to offer and explore the colleges uh, before you make your decision. And that's all I've got. I believe it's important to make sure that the college offers what you're looking for. <clears throat> Sometimes we get caught up and the name and making sure that, you know, we can be, be on a broad spectrum, but it's also good to make sure that not only do they have the programs that you're looking for, but they have support services on campus that are offered to you. Um, you always are gonna have questions at some point and to have that support on campus um, at any given time um, to answer your questions, to assist you through processes, especially as a transfer student, um, when you'll have questions about which courses come over and how to get into specific programs like nursing or maybe engineering or business. Um, you want to make sure that you have that support and that availability to you. Um, that way you can have a more easier um, process throughout your final two years of college and again, that will pre just present itself to be a successful opportunity for you. So make sure that you have one, um, access to your program and two, access to um, be successful within your program as well. Um, I would absolutely agree. I would definitely say to make sure um, that it's going to be a good fit for you. I think visiting each college that you're looking at is the best way to do that. And also by taking advantage of your admissions counselor, um, that's what we're here for, absolutely, to help walk you through the process and answer any questions that you may have. So um, just visiting each college that you're interested in and, and asking questions and not being afraid to do so. So, thanks. 
I'm going to echo everything that has been said before me, um, and I'm also I'm going to piggyback on something Amanda just mentioned. Um, the fact that we are we are here to help you. Um, I was a transfer student myself many 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 years ago, and I remember how daunting it was, especially when you're thinking about uprooting yourself from where you are, going to a new place. Will my credits transfer? Am I going to have to redo a bunch of work that I've already done? It can be a very daunting process, and I remember thinking that. But each of us on this call, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you. Um, and I wish more of my transfer students would reach out sometimes because um, it could really um, make things a lot less stressful for them. So um, I know it was already mentioned, but I think it's just, it isn't a very, it's a very important, um, a very important message to hammer home is that we really want to help. We want to see you succeed. So take advantage of us for sure. I would have to say the same as everybody else. Um, as Amanda mentioned, ask questions, make sure that the institution that you're transferring to is the right fit. I get a lot of students who reach out and they're saying, I'm so sorry to bother you, but that's what we are here for. And that's what the different offices on campus are here for. So if there is anything that we can do either in admissions or I know on our campus to make the process a little bit easier, please let us know. Ask those questions. We want to help you succeed in wherever you do end up transferring to. Um, awesome. I always like to give a last plug. All great advice. Uh, I just reiterate, please reach out to these folks because these this is what they do. Uh, they're the experts. They are trying to find the right fit for you. Um, so thank you again so much to our panelists uh, for, for giving us their expertise, uh, sharing their knowledge. And thanks to anyone who is with us live or if you're watching this recording. If you are with us live, when you leave here, there will be a five question survey that you'll need to complete. There will be more sessions. You can sign up in the same place that you signed up for this one. And again, a recording is available at strivescan.com forward slash Carolinas. And I put that in the chat as well. Best of luck to those out there. And thank you so much to our experts, our panelists, and have a good night.